Picasa 2 from Google is probably the most simple and most complete digital photo management system that you can get today and it's free. In these next few tips we're going to show you how to get the most out of Picasa 2 and make it a replacement for whatever you're using currently as a digital image manager. When you first install Picasa, Picasa will give you the choice of either scanning your entire computer or scanning just your My Documents folder looking for the pictures that you already have saved in your computer. It will not move the files from where they currently are saved. It just simply presents them to you in an easy to understand manner as you will explore in these next few tips regarding Picasa. If you want to add specific folders, maybe you don't save your photos in My Pictures or not in My Documents, you can click Tools from the menu, then click Folder Manager, and then it will present you with all your folders. And when you click on one of your drives, for example on my computer, I have a separate folder called Digital Photo. And then Picasa gives me three choices. Either remove that folder from Picasa, it does not delete anything. It just simply says Picasa is not going to look at that folder and present you what's in that folder in its program. Then it has a scan once, meaning that you want to scan that folder once and don't ever scan it again. I don't even know why you'd want to use that. Or the most common setting that you want to use is to always scan a particular folder where you put your pictures. So you can see that the eyeball, wherever the eyeball is, is where it's going to scan for photos. So in my particular case, it's Casa says I'm watching my digital photo folder on the C drive. It's also watching the desktop for new photos anywhere in my documents or anywhere in my pictures. So in the screen here we have a copy of Picasa 2 and I've got some of my pictures up here in the screen and the first thing I want to quickly show is the basic features of Picasa. On the left hand side of Picasa it shows you the folders that already exist in your computer and they're all neatly laid out based on how you already have them in your My Pictures folder or wherever you chose for Picasa to look. So if I click on a particular folder, the pictures of that folder pop up in this window on the right hand side. A nice feature about Picasa is it makes looking through your images very, very quick. You can use this little slider bar in the lower right hand corner to make your thumbnails small so you can look through pictures quickly or a little bit larger to look for a specific picture. So it makes it real simple to go through your photos. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse to quickly scroll up and down in a folder and then as you scroll up or down through a folder it automatically goes to the previous folder. Now one thing that it does on the left hand side with your folders is it tries to put the images in chronological order if it can find some kind of order to the photos. As you can see here it says 2004 scroll up further there's 2005, 2006. The date only works properly in Picasa if you have your date and time settings set correctly on your camera. So very simple to actually look through your photos and quickly identify a photo that you want to work with or send via email or do some other things that we'll talk about later. But first let's look how you can use some of the editing tools in Picasa to look at your photos. So if I double click on a picture it brings that picture up in a larger window and then I can use these buttons here at the top to scroll through the photos. Once you bring a photo up you can use the editing tools that Picasa provides to make some changes that you might want to make to your photo. It has a basic crop, also contains a straighten tool that allows you to, to tilt an image that may be crooked, has a fairly good red eye repair, and I'm feeling lucky. This is coming from their Google search engine. If you click I'm feeling lucky then Google or Picasa will try to figure out what's wrong with the photo and make the adjustments for you. And of course contrast color and then fill, fill light which helps you make some of the adjustments that you would have if you were flash. There's also a couple of tabs up here for tuning. Again fill light, highlight, shadow, etc. And then effects if you want to make a black and white photo, if you want a soft focus. Editing tools I think are very much a secondary of CASA but if you don't have any other editing tools you can certainly use some of the 
tools that are available to you. Here's the crop tool. If I click on a manual crop, I can click anywhere in the photo and then draw a box on what I want to keep. Then when I click apply, apply that crop to that picture. Now one nice thing about Picasa is it does not affect your originals. By default it keeps track of your originals and then if you save this this particular changes that we've made then it will save that to uh, another file for you. If you want to do a quick slideshow there's a slideshow up here at the top click on that and it'll bring up a full screen slideshow it shows you your photos works quite nicely you also have the ability to do a gift CD the gift CD allows you to copy as many folders as you want if I click on that it'll bring up since I already was in my March folder it selected it and has the photos on the right Then if I click under step one add more I can add June Alamosa, you know, these different folders, I can add it and it'll tell me I have four folders selected, 140 files, and how many CDs or if you have a DVD burner, DVDs would take to create the GIF CD. And it even will include a copy of Picasa for your, your uh, GIF D, and it will include a slide, an automatically started slideshow for them as well. Very, very simple, very slick, and, and just like anything with Google, very intuitive and very clean to do these kinds of things. These are just some of the quick basic features I wanted to point out in Picasa. In upcoming Picasa tips we are going to talk about how to import your pictures from your camera into your computer using Picasa. I think as we go through the next three or four tips on Picasa here on helpmerick.com you're going to realize how powerful Picasa is and you will enjoy the change from whatever software you're using to Picasa. Stay tuned for more tips from HelpMeRick.com on Picasa.